Hey everybody, it's Malika! Yay! I haven't been on here in a really, really long time. Yeah, no excuses. But, um, yeah, quick little update. Um, I started locking my hair. Right now they're in band two knots because my ends literally will not lock. So this is my way of trying to, like, tame them until I can get them to actually be locked. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about uh, foot peels and, like, foot peels. Uh, so I have tried two foot chemical mask peels in my lifetime. Uh, baby foot, because that's the one that BuzzFeed did on their channel and it was like, oh my god, such amazing results. And I have had dry feet for forever and hopefully you can hear me because I have the fan going. But it's like hot and I'm also wearing a long sleeve black t-shirt dress. But anyway. The results looked amazing, so I was like, you know what, I'm going to try that. And so I tried it, and this is going to be me telling you my experience with Babyfoot, and then this other brand that uh, Grace and Stella Dr. Pedicure Foot Exfoliation Mask. It's right there, and also a picture will pop up. And so I'm going to give you my compare and contrast. This is kind of like my um, color remover, but not because I'm not going to, it took way too long to edit that color remover and like making my voice sound nice and pleasant, you know what I mean? So yeah, this is going to be my review on both of them and which one worked best for me. Okay, let's get started. So the instructions for both of them are literally the same thing, are literally the same thing. You, um... It doesn't tell you directly to like soak your feet for 15 minutes. It tells you in like step three. By the way, it's best if you soak your feet before you do this. So you're gonna soak your feet in like warm to like warm to hot water for like 15 minutes. All I did was like go to my kitchen and like turn it to hot and then fill up my little container. Um, but like I didn't wait for it to get like scolding hot. As soon as they got warm, I filled both of them up. So I did warm water and let them soak for 15 minutes. Then I did pat them dry. I patted them dry and then you open up both of the containers, not both of them, not containers, but you know, the boxes. In both boxes, they have like one pair of footies that are like just plastic. Pretty much and so you rip or cut open where it, the scissor lines tells you and then you put your you slide your foot into this plastic that's filled with chemicals and like a jelly like substance and then they also give you like little tapey thingies to take down the excess and then they tell you to put socks on well it's recommended so then you can actually be you can walk around and be sort of kind and comfortable as comfortable as you can be with plastic around your foot and you keep it on for an hour this is for both of them baby foot and grace and stella both of them you keep it on for an hour you take it off and then you rinse off your feet and then you have to wait like about a week for it to actually start peeling off so yeah I didn't think about this beforehand and it's already like two o'clock in the morning but um I, I forgot to like actually check to make sure if the ingredients are the same thing because the instructions are the same thing the ingredients might be the same thing so I'm gonna insert a clip of like whether it is or isn't the same ingredients we'll see we will see so the first one that I have ever done was the baby foot one because of course that's the one that was done on BuzzFeed and so it kind of worked for me in the sense of that like when I was done when I was done like rinsing off baby foot from my uh my feet I would like 
lay my feet on my lap. You can't see it, but like how like old guys like put their leg, their foot on their knee to sit and like their knees gut it out. I would do that so that I could like take the towel and pat my foot dry. And whenever I took it off of my leg, I was wearing black tights, little tiny spickles and spackles of like soggy dead skin <laughs> were on my leg. And that happened like that that was it that was it I pretty much only got like little itty bitty speckles of dead skin but like my feet were still rough like it, I never got the amazing results that they did in um, on BuzzFeed and then about it I, I don't remember when I did <laughs> baby foot but recently maybe like a month ago or maybe a couple weeks ago maybe it's only been two weeks but I did the Grace and Stella of like I said same same steps not sure if it's the same ingredients but I did it and then maybe on like Monday or Sunday I got in the shower with all the hot water which is another point I'm gonna bring up and with all the hot water and when I got out, like heavy amounts of chunks of, of skin was coming off or peeling off. And you know, I would like pick at it and like see how long I can make the piece of skin stretch and not stretch, but how, you know, my whole foot, if I could get it off my whole foot. But yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I don't still have it, but I do still have the dead skin. Um, I started a garden, kind of, an indoor garden, and I kind of just put, dumped my dead skin in one of the plants because I was like, this might have some nutrients. So I'll insert a clip of, of my dirty <laughs> dead skin, which is lovely. And I still, it's still peeling off some as well. Hopefully this doesn't get demonetized because there are freaks in the world you know what I mean but I'll insert a better shot of my feet still peeling something that might be the reason why Grace and Stella is working better for me is that I'm taking more frequent frequent showers um, and their hot showers too something that helps the dead skin come off is warm to hot water and I'm taking showers more frequently because I'm doing more things so I gotta be clean for other people and all that other jazz um and for myself I have to be clean for myself and so that might be one of the reasons why it's also helping take off more dead skin but another thing it's pricing. Like Babyfoot was like twenty three ninety nine, and Grace and Stella is twelve ninety five, and these are Prime prices, Amazon Prime, and it's twelve ninety five. Compare it to like twenty three ninety nine. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I mean, it does the same thing. This and this one works work much better for me. But yeah, that's this video. I just wanted to make a video to let you guys know that you don't need the baby foot. You need other things that aren't as expensive. Unless, of course, some type of the company that owns baby foot wants to sponsor me, then maybe, maybe you'll need it. But as of the moment, I ain't got no check. I'm still in debt. So y'all don't need I. But yeah. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm not gonna promise you <laughs> frequent videos at all because, well, hey. And also the messy background is like whatever right now. This is my crafting area, kind of. The room's just a mess. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. Let me know if you have tried them out. Either one, both of them. Let me know your experiences or your hesitations. Um, 
don't ask me where to buy them because I've said it in the video and the link is also in the description. Y'all, some of y'all just worrisome. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, hello, how are you? Would you like to subscribe and maybe see more from me? And if you are not new to this channel and you are subscribed, thank you for staying with me for so long. Somebody, some people keep subscribing, but like my number of subscribers doesn't go up. So I guess every time somebody subscribes, somebody unsubscribes. I don't know how that works. But all of the videos that were like, oh, hey, we can't monet, you can't monetize those. I had them reviewed and they finally all went through. That's going to get annoying. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one, whenever that is. Bye.